Chapter 2, The One Who Drugged President Lin. Fei looked at the direction Xenia pointed and saw a woman in her mid-twenties walking over. She's a beautiful woman in tight work suit. Her soft black hair was tied up and a pair of black glasses were resting on her beautiful face. Her face looked slightly stern, but as she was making her way through, her hips sway, which made her look sexy. A lady that beautiful, no wonder people turned around to look at her. Fei finally understood everyone's reaction. How is she? Isn't she beautiful? Xenia winked at Fade and whispered. Yes, Fade nodded. Xenia continued with a small sigh. That's manager Lily Wei, the general manager of human resources department of our company. At the same time, manager Wei is also the president best friend. They are very closed in each other in private. Of course, manager Wei is also famous beauty in our company. She's ranked second in whole company only ranked below to President Lin. I'm curious about how many people would want to pursue manager Wei. Fade, you too. Xenia suddenly asked Fade. Ah, Fade was still surprised by the relationship between Lily and Quinn that he did not manage to come to HIS senses for a moment. Fade then shook HIS head and said, I'm not. Fade, I know the little intentions that you have, just like other men. There's no need to pretend. Xenia winked at Fate and half-jokingly said. Fate sighed softly and said, I'm not joking, I'm married, so it's impossible. You are married. I didn't expect that. Xenia looked at Fate in surprise. It just doesn't seem like people like me could also get married, right? Fate smiled. No, I didn't meant that. I just, I just think you are still young. Xenia said and sighed. I'm curious about your wife. Will I have a chance to get to know her? You already know each other, Fate said quietly in HIS heart, but instead he smiled and replied, Of course you will. Following Lily's departure, the cafeteria gradually resumed its normal state of hustle. However, soon after, the cafeteria fell into complete silence once again. What? Another beautiful woman? Fade turned HIS head around and saw somebody who made him frown. A man in a suit, with HIS hair slicked back, wearing a pair of gold-rimmed glasses, walked in with a hint of arrogance in HIS steps. This man was none other than, the man in the Mercedes-Benz who scolded Fade at the entrance of the company this morning. It's him, Fade frowned. Do you know Secretary Ken? Xenia looked at Fade. Secretary Ken. The confusion on Fade's face was visible. You don't know him, Xenia continued. He is Donald Kan, our president's secretary, and he is valued by President Kin. Secretary Kin, together with manager Ways regarded as the right-hand men of President Lin, and both them held high positions in the company. Moreover, Secretary Kin graduated from well-known university and is good-looking. Secretary Kin is definitely Prince Charming for most of us, Xenia said with affection. However, it seemed that Secretary Kin is not interested in ordinary women, he is instead devoted to President Lin. He likes Kin. Hearing this, Fate felt unhappy for no particular reason. The look to Fate throw at Donald was filled with dissatisfaction towards that man. Xenia did not notice the change in Fate's emotion and continued, President Lin is young and her future is promising, and she is so beautiful. It is normal for Secretary Kin to fell in love with her. There are also many colleagues in our company who think that they are suitable with each other. They are indeed a perfect match. I don't think so. The words came out of Fade's mouth unexpectedly. Right then, Donald happened to pass by Fade. Although they were separated by two rows of seats, Fade was still able to smell a faint fragrance coming from him. This smell. Suddenly, something came across Fade's mind. Fade's face turned cold, and he frowned. Fade, what is wrong with you? Are you sick? Xenia finally noticed Fade's strange behavior and asked in concern. I'm fine. Fade shook HIS head as he put down HIS bowl and chopstick before standing up and said, Xenia, I'm full. I'll go first. Leaving the cafeteria, Fade quickly went inside an elevator and pressed the button to the top floor. On the top floor, as soon as Fade walked out the elevator, he quickly walked to the president office. At the door, 
The secretary saw Fade and was stunned by HIS presence at the moment, then she stopped him immediately. What are you doing here? I am here to see President Lin, Fade said to her. Do you have an appointment? The secretary looked at Fade warily. Fade said, I'm staff here and I have something urgent to report to President Lin. Staff, the secretary was even more suspicious after hearing this. Yes, my name is Fade Chen, today is my first day working in the medical department, Fade said hastily. The secretary flipped through the information of the workers that she had and confirmed Fade's identity, but she still insisted on stopping him. I'm sorry it's break time now, if there's something you would like to report to President Lin, please do come again in the afternoon. I, I'm in an urgent situation, Fade said hurriedly. I'm sorry, without an appointment, you can't talk to President Lin, the secretary said firmly. I, I, Fade got really anxious, without thinking any further, Fade shouted directly at the president's office. D, President Lin this is Fade, I. I have something to tell you. You, there is a change in the secretary's facial expression. She picked up the phone and was ready to call the security guard. In the nick of time, the voice heard in the president's office, let him in. The secretary stunned for a moment and put down the phone. At the same time, Fade already entered in the office. In the office, dressed in formal business attire, Quinn sat behind a huge solid wooden desk and stared at Fade coldly. President Lin, I, Fade started HIS sentence. Before finishing HIS word, Fade interrupted by Quinn's cold voice. The things that I just told you in the morning, have you already forgotten about it? No, I have something urgent to tell you, Fade said hurriedly. Quinn frowned slightly and coldly said, go ahead. Here's the thing. Fade explained, I saw Donald Kin when I was eating in the cafeteria just now. I smelled a special fragrance on him, and the fragrance is the same as the fragrance. That was on you were drugged the night before yesterday, so I suspect that it have something to do with Donald. That's it, coldness still lacking in Quinn's voice. Well yes, that's it. I just want you to be careful President Lin. Donald, Fade reminded. Once again Fade's word was interrupted by Queen's cold voice. If you are done, you may leave now. This, Fade was stunned for a moment and then hurriedly said, I'm not lying, the smell is similar. I'm sure that Donald must have something to do with it. I. Enough, Quinn shouted coldly and looked at Fade, shaking her head. Quinn said, I'm very disappointed in you. It is only your first day in the company and you already started playing dirty tricks. I, Fade tried to defend himself. Please stay tuned for more incoming chapters. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.